Area schools are taking extra precautions as several communities raise the Tripoli threat level to critical. Our Gretchen LaRosa spoke with one school system who says they aren't taking any chances. She joins us now with more. Gretchen. Anna, the state confirms three new cases of Triple E in Massachusetts, with one right here in Worcester County. Officials say it's a critical time to take precaution, including making changes to a Friday night tradition. A new football season starts with a warning about the mosquito-carrying virus referred to as Triple E. Schedules are usually done months in advance, so certainly uh, a development like this throws a little bit of a, a monkey wrench into the plan. Grafton High School Athletic Director Jim Scanlon says the threat of Triple E is changing the plan they had for the fall athletic season. And that means that we are uh, changing schedules around, altering schedules as we need to, um, providing insect repellent to our student athletes and staff to make sure that um, we provide the safest environment possible. All night games in Grafton are rescheduled for earlier times. There are seven confirmed human cases of Triple E this year, including one in the town. Dr. Michael Hirsch says the risk of the virus is a concern and awareness is important. We are very sympathetic to the idea that we want children to be active and we want the sports teams to have their, their games. But we also know that uh, unfortunately uh, they're very much at risk when they're very sweaty and they're out there in the, in the dusk hours. That's, that's what the mosquitoes like. High school football kicks off a week from Friday. Scanlon says as excited as they are, they are putting safety first. We are um, taking all steps necessary to ensure the safety of our student athletes, coaches, parents, officials, fans. Now, Dr. Hirsch says Triple E will remain a threat until the first frost of the season. Officials are encouraging people to cover up in long clothing and continue using bug repellent. In Worcester, Gretchen LaRosa, Worcester News Tonight.